In our previous episode, we spent our last days at the Channel Islands enjoying Kyler Harbor at San Miguel Island. We explore the white sandy beaches, meet a volunteer park ranger, and visit with the local sea lions. Then we gave Fathom her first swimming lesson and squeeze in one last dinghy fishing adventure before setting sail across the Santa Barbara Channel towards Point Conception. Captain, tell us our conditions. 11 knots of breeze, 12 knots of breeze, and we're gonna try to sail as high as we can. Um, once we get up to the shipping channel, we'll try to tack and see how far we can point up again, and then try to sail until the, until the wind dies on us. Before we could get settled into the cockpit for the overnight passage to Morro Bay, we were greeted by some playful ocean friends. We had some spectacular sailing as we headed for the Santa Barbara Channel, but it was short-lived as we quickly became surrounded by thick fog. Since we had yet to install radar on board, we had to rely on shoddy cell phone reception to monitor our marine traffic website, keeping our eyes peeled for any large ships. Hearing the fog horns from a large container ship and having very little idea as to which direction they were headed and whether or not they were on a collision course was one of the most uncomfortable experiences we've had as sailors. We are about five miles, maybe six miles from Morro Bay right now. Once we got closer to conception, we had to bring the sails down. Definitely bumpier and windier than forecasted and expected, but nothing we can't handle. It's definitely bittersweet, but we're excited to get back into the swing of things, start working again, and plan our next adventure. I'm gonna go wake Jack up from his rest, and we should be coming in tomorrow bay just as the sun is rising. All right, we just made the turn from the three nautical mile line towards Morro Bay, and we have dolphins! Hi. What a great welcome to Morro Bay! Ah! Hi. Oh my goodness! Oh, I saw a seal too. Alrighty, honey, so if we're grabbing a mooring, it's just going to be using the boat hook to pick up the line edge and then tying it to the feet on the bow. Yeah. It's a big, big, big polypropylene yeah. line, but besides that, it's just... <laughs> Whoa, Inception! <laughs> I can smell land. Yeah. <laughs> like fires burning. Yeah. Definitely eerie coming in here in this fog. Entering Morro Bay can be tricky because of the narrow breakwall entrance and the strong currents that flow through the bay. I stayed at the bow to keep a good lookout in the fog. The moorings were all taken, so we set the hook in the small anchorage at the beginning of the long, narrow bay. We only planned to stay for about half a day, taking time to rest while we waited for the fuel dock to open up. Bacon. Too treacherous to make while underway. Yeah, don't want greasy bacon grease all over the place. The fathom's right outside, making sure everything's under control. All right, we are waiting to fuel up at the Morro Bay fuel dock. There's a boat there finishing up, so hopefully we'll be next. And then we'll be heading north to Santa Cruz. If you plan to fuel up here, be prepared with dock lines and multiple fenders hanging horizontally just below your tow rail, as it is a fixed dock with minimal padding to protect your hull.
While Jack filled our diesel tank, Fathom kept watch over the sea lions lingering below the fuel dock. With a full tank, I took up one small bag of trash we had on board and thanked the fuel dock tender for his help before starting the passage towards Santa Cruz. Short but sweet. Back on the move. We had just raised the sails when the wind died down, leaving us to motor up the coast. It was a good thing we had the motor on when I had to slam it into reverse to keep from hitting three huge humpback whales that crossed our bow. Shit, we're gonna run into them. They're like, um, excuse me, this is our ocean. Yeah. You're in our way. Please move, thanks. Oh, oh my gosh, they're getting closer, honey. Be careful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've never seen them that close, honey. That was insane. We're really lucky you saw them in time. Shoot. I was gonna hit them, honey. Yeah. They were so close. Uh, that was like half a boat length, right, just right there. Oh! oh. <laughs> we thanked the whales for the show, but more importantly, for not breaching onto our boat and watched them dive into the depths. Kitty, we're coming into Santa Cruz. What do you think? You excited? about six other boats here right now not too bad we're tucking in closer to shore but also further away from the pier because there are seagulls and sea lions and all sorts of stinky noisy animals down there so don't want to be too close but looks like we're gonna set the hook here and rest for a bit I need to move you <laughs> Kitty package. Having rested, we put Fathom down below and headed to get some dinner on shore. There's nothing like a meal you didn't have to prepare yourself after being off the grid for 18 days. We found a beautiful spot to enjoy our pizza as we watched the boats file out of the harbor for their weekly beer can races. Unfortunately, on our dinghy ride back to Gemini, Jack's wallet fell out of his shorts and was never to be seen again. What are we about to do? Not lose my wallet. What did we do yesterday? <laughs> Lost my wallet again. <laughs> Twice in about two months? Yes. You've lost your wallet doing the same exact activity? Yes. Neptune taketh and Neptune giveth. <laughs> this time he taketh a little more than he giveth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kitty, are you Don't excited to go on an adventure? That's amazing. We wanted to get Fathom used to riding in the dinghy, so it was a perfect excuse to go to shore for breakfast and a walk on the beach. What do you think about sand? Sand, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Just like this stuff is weird. This turned out to be more difficult than we thought, as Fathom is not used to walking on a leash, but she made herself right at home in the biggest litter box ever. So we are 
are just off the coast of Pescadero, California, almost to Half Moon Bay. And I just looked out and there is a beautiful rainbow. I don't know if you can see how many jellyfish there are in the water right here, but it's a lot. Jack woke me up this morning. We thought we had some seaweed wrapped on the crop. And then he looked behind us and he realized we've just been driving through this huge patch of jellyfish bouncing off our boat and probably getting chopped up by our propeller, but they're just everywhere. Still a little bit hazy. I'm guessing that most of it is from the fires. You can definitely smell the fire smoke in the air. It's weird, you get back to land and you can smell all those things. Yeah, besides that, pretty uneventful, beautiful morning out here. Last day of our trip. With the light winds at our stern, we decided to pull out the drifter sail and enjoy the last stretch of the coast. How fast are we moving right now? Yeah. It's not terrible. It did lighten up though. We were going good for a minute. No matter how many times we pass under the Golden Gate, we are always left in awe of its enormity, guarding the entrance to the bay which we have called home for over seven years. Our trip is coming to an end. We spent our last night, our last hurrah of vacation in Clipper Cove, our favorite anchorage in the bay. And now we are motoring over this morning to drop me off at work. Luckily I work at a boatyard where we can literally just drop me off at the dock and I can walk up to the office and be at work. It's been an amazing trip. We spent about 18 days covering almost 700 nautical miles just can't say anything bad about it. We learned a lot. We really saw that our boat is just set up and she takes care of us if we take care of her. So we're excited to tackle a couple small little projects that we found that would really improve our life on the hook, life on the move. But besides that, she is set up and comfortable. We didn't even plug up to shore power when we went to the marina in Ventura. You know, I mean, we're, we're very self-sufficient on, on board Gemini. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support. Please leave us a comment down below. We love hearing from you guys. And we will see you next time.